Well, I thank the member for her uh, question. Uh, first of all, the Departmental Solicitor's Office has already considered the allegations made in the Spotlight programme and has advised Peter Robinson that he was not in breach of the Ministerial Code, the Pledge of Office, the Ministerial Code of Conduct or the seven principles of public life. So I think it's important to say that first of all. But as well as that, uh, Peter Robinson has now written to the Chairman uh, of the Committees of Standards on Privileges in both Westminster uh, and in this Assembly to ask them to conduct a full investigation into the allegation made by the BBC Spotlight programme. The process that the First Minister uh, has asked to be initiated uh, involving senior counsel uh, is not intended, and I think this needs to be uh, very clear, that's not intended to be an alternative to other processes uh, that may and undoubtedly will be carried out. Uh, however, the First Minister does believe, and this is going to the heart of the member's question, the First, member, uh, the First Minister uh, uh, it does very, very much believe that there needs to be an early indication given uh, in relation uh, to the allegations. And I'm personally confident, my party is very confident, that this will confirm uh, that Peter Robinson, the First Minister, acted entirely properly at all times. But let's have that and let's have it quickly, uh, because we do need to move on. The members made reference to other issues that need to be dealt with. She's absolutely right. Other issues do need to be dealt with. And frankly, this is all a distraction for the people of Northern Ireland when we have other issues to deal with, particularly speaking uh, about the issue which was first mentioned in this House this morning the attempted murder of a police officer. Yeah, sure. And that is why we need to really focus on what is going on here. Deal with the issues, yes, but there, is, there are more important issues to the people of Northern Ireland to be dealt with, and I say that very strongly, uh, Mr Speaker.